Uh, let's go in there then, I guess. Ha! Oh, may we give the paper dog to the grub? You're lonely. Is that it? Nah. I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. Let's give him the paper dog. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. Terrific, uh... I think he wants me to open it. Oh, okay. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. I guess we take the gem? A beautiful teardrop-shaped ruby. I'm no gemologist, but I'd wager it's real. I think I asked this last time if gemologist was a accurate term. I think it actually is. All right, let's take it. It's firmly attached, but hey. I think I can move it. Oh, right. Yeah, good. <laughs> Locked. Okay. Um, let's see. We got okay. We got a whiskey bottle, a hip flask, and a museum ID card. Locked. Um. Ah, it's open. Oh, the box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? It's his most prized possession, obviously. He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. Yep. Oh, no, I don't want you to actually look at it. I just want to see if your description changed. Alright, let's get the whiskey bottle to Don. If he's still here. There he is. Hey, bud. Here you go. I don't think so. Uh, okay. Um, here. There we go. Oh, boy, you really came through for an old man. Talk about dramatizing it. You can't be any older than 35. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But, you know, I'll let you learn. You've got spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. It's not normally like that. Even Floyd usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? Not seen anyone around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can't beat a good novel and a drink. A good book, eh? Well, have you ever heard of Cassell? Have you ever read the works of Louis Cassell? Can't say I've heard of him. He's a horror writer. In fact, he lives on Augur Peak Island. Augur Peak Island? Never heard of it. Isn't that where we're going? Well, <clears throat> I have one of his novels somewhere. Now that will be just the ticket. <laughs> Get it? That's hilarious. You should be a comedian. What are you doing wasting away as a ticket inspector here? Come on. Hope Don likes it as much as I do. Oh, I sure hope he likes it. Might as well rename this part of the game Favors for Don. Oh, looks like you dropped some things. Hey, here you go. Guess he won't be wanting the novel after all. Best leave him be. What are, what are these things? 
A key. On it is a carving of armor. Wait, an A. Two A. Let's uh, let's take it. Well, why not? The key to two A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. It's a little bit predatory thought, isn't it? A handy hip flask. Right. Uh, no. He might want it when he wakes up. Well, okay then. No, keep going. Aw, oh, you can't just hold down and they keep going. I've been playing too much Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do this. The lamp casts a pale, cold glow over the photographs. The flame is perfectly still. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around a house. What is it about these pictures? Hmm. More photos of... My God! They're Victorian death pictures. I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <sighs> Yeah, go ahead and take those. The Victorian death photos. My god. They're Victorian death pictures. Okay. We already arrived at that conclusion. Another large bag. This is starting to get very, very unpleasant. Let's look inside. I want to have a look inside. But this is somebody's bag. Right. Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. Hmm. Alright, I, I guess that's all there is to do in here. Still the same. Um, let's see. Maybe we can go talk to Floyd now. Uh, what? It's locked? That door is locked as well. Okay, looks like we're we're locked out of all these places. Okay, uh, back to our room. Can't even get to our room. Oh, what? This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I can see the whiskey flask sticking out. Oh god. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh god, get me out of this place. What have I done? Uh... Let's look at this real quick. A control panel of some sort. It's locked. I don't know what it does. Well, maybe we can mess with it. Uh... It's locked. Okay. Did that, uh, did that broken glass come from the bar? I'm guessing it did, right? Rotten. It's all rotten. This looks years old. How is this even possible? I think I'm gonna be sick. Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Destroyed. Um, well, Floyd's not here. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll leave. Can't go to any of these places. Oh, what? It's moving. It's twitching. Please, God, 
Don't make me look. I am God, and I want you to look. I can't do this anymore. I want to wake up. Shut it and sealed. Shut it and sealed. Well, I guess it's time to leave, right? Positioned as if to show off the box, just so. Is this the same? With the worms and everything? Oh, what? This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. We got it, though. We got it. Check this out. Uh, yeah. There. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. A thin key? There. It came apart. Okay. Well, I can only imagine one place where this would go. Let's do this. The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. Train's picking up speed. Okay. The flame seems to be burning slightly green. It's dancing wildly. I think it's unlocked now. I'll just slide it open. No. No. Dear God, what is this? Earth. Nothing but earth pressed tight against the window. This can't have just happened. This can't be happening. I can't breathe. There's no air. <coughs> Katrina, please forgive me. And man looked down upon the earth, and the earth crawled up to meet him. Louis Cassel. So, that was Sepulchre. Uh, my interpretation of it is that uh, Harold was an alcoholic, um, who was perhaps driving with someone named Katerina, his wife, and uh, collided with the train? and uh, killed the both of them. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. But um, that was my impression upon my initial playthrough of the game. Uh, we'll go ahead and play Exhale now and finish up the trilogy. Maybe we'll get the answers we're seeking. I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. That was pretty rude of me, actually. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. Whoa. God damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. I should go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around, ask him where the other guy's cabin is, or just see if there's a bar. Hmm. Well, come on, you can crack a window, right? I'd freeze to death by open the window. It's cold enough on this train. Well, maybe you should have brought something other than a t-shirt, you know? 
nice, comfy seats. A cute doggy! He looks like my model dog. Wait, where did I leave that? Oh, crap. Yeah, you don't have it with you, do you? Come on, let's light up. I could kill for a cigarette right now, but I should wait. Fine, fine. Cards, money, mace, the usual. Right, okay. Uh, let's see. A portrait of a sickly looking guy in a hat. I wonder who this is. Who knows? Who cares? Let's go. Time for an adventure, Alex. Okay, so this was... This was our, uh, our room. A compartment door. I can't hear anything. A steam train. It looks exactly like the one I'm on. Maybe it is. There's a plaque at the bottom. It says, Old Gloria's Inaugural Trip, December 1988. Hmm. 1988? Really? 1988? Old glo- A fire extinguisher. Can be used for putting out fires, or dispersing rowdy parties. Right. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to Don. When I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. But no, he just has white hair. Now I look at him properly, he seems kind of familiar. Hey! Evening, lassie. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... She's... Kind of... Ancient, right? Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So, she's not really the same train at all, then? She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, you youngins don't want to be listening to Olgan on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. Oh, no. <laughs> not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tack. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh yeah? Like what? Oh, just your usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun time. So, anything I can help you with, miss? Well, uh, I guess I misread the portrait. It, it was 1888. I don't know why I thought it said 1988. Uh, let's ask about everything, starting with this one. You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, actually. Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? I was surprised when I saw it. Aye. I like the night shift. Nice and quiet. Less so tonight, mind. The doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. He won't sit still. Surprised he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still, he did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. What's your game, Don? Hmm. Were you just messing with Harold? How dare you. So, the port town we're headed to... Aye. Quaint little Nibbawamsit. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, so you'll be crossing with us? Aye, I've got some time off. You got family there? Aye, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. I see. Huh. <laughs> so in uh, Sepulchre, he says he's never even heard of Augur Peak, but... Here he says that uh, he lives there. That's interesting. So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Aye. Off to Augur to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea my old home island had any historical secrets like that. Here. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Wait, wait. 
his name isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes, aye? (laughs) Oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Aye, they all do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh, yeah, I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly, especially now I know he's Kat's boss. He's in 1B, but hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Ask me to wake him in an hour, so I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay, cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd, the barman. Runs the bar. It's open if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some... What? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. (laughs) Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Okay, sure. Catch you later, Don. So you're not just a ticket inspector, you're a conductor as well. A compartment door. I can't hear anything. (sighs) Okay, well... Let's get a move on, Alex. Alex is like the perfect hipster chick name. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go in here. They sound busy. I won't disturb Fine, them. Fine, then. A compartment door. I can hear strange grunting. I'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. They sound... yeah. No. Okay, fine, then. A compartment door. I can hear the faint sound of talking from within. Alright, these are, uh... These are interesting people. A compartment door. I can hear faint, melancholy piano music from within. Piano music? Listening to the music makes me sad. I don't want to go in. Alright, let's go talk to Floyd, then. Oh, I guess I should have left-clicked on the, uh, painting. Oh, she's moving on her own right now. Hello? Floyd? Anyone? Hmm. No sign. Oh, sounds like he's out back. I'll wait then. Let's look around for a while. A window looking out into the night. The train's moving fast. Well, at least we're not in a steel coffin as Don so poetically described it. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the diners? Yeah, so the train's completely different than when Harold was on board. Oh, Bloody Mary. Nasty. Oh, look. Someone's left a Bloody Mary lying around. I shouldn't. Should I? My girlfriend loves Bloody Marys. I don't get it. Well, it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, that's thoughtful. How'd they know your name? Come on, Alex. No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. Well, I guess not. Just what I like to see. A well-stocked bar. Shame nobody's around to tend it. Yeah. Let's see if we can reach back there and steal some. I can't reach over the bar. All right. Well, putting an end to my fun, aren't you, Alex? You buzzkill. Can't reach over the bar. What? Wasn't expecting this. Uh, hi? Hey. A small girl dressed in a ballet outfit. She looks very sad. A music box. It's playing a beautiful, melancholy waltz. Huh. 
there's only one bag here. Is this girl traveling alone? A lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns go. Let's talk to you, Lydia. Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. True. What are you, four? Five? I'm eight, actually. Oh, well, we're almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nipawamzet? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look so sad? I... No, actually. He... He'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Grown-ups are weird. Yeah, don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? Okay, I didn't get that the phone call from the first chapter was about her father. Uh, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't get that. That's why she got all weird afterwards. Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown-ups? Weird. <laughs> so, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. Kiddo is such a weird term. I don't think I've ever said that term unironically. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh, man. That takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it, too. Didn't work, though. The other girls didn't like me. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. I like your necklace. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? Gross. Uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend, but there's nothing gross about it. But boys are totally gross. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind, though. Sadly. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. He has a silly name. He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. Uh, I just want to say the voice acting in this game is excellent. I don't know if I've said that before, but uh, yeah. It's good. I shouldn't mess with it. I might upset her. Alright then. A small girl dressed in a... Okay. A window looking out into... I just want to see if she had any new things to say. I have no need to carry a lantern around. Look in the huge bag. I'm not going to rummage through her bag right in front okay, of her. Okay, we'll wait till she leaves. Gotcha. Good thinking, Alex. 